Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Descent Genesis of Dark Second Edition. I am going to go through a Reminous Plot Deck Unseen Legions. So, we start off with uh, Mouths to Feed. So, you exhaust this card when a monster with four or less health defeats a hero. Gain one threat token. Uh, this card does not refresh as normal, it refreshes this card at the end of each encounter. It's really, really good already. Oh, there, there is more. Hold on. But uh, this part is uh, a little bit, uh, well, something that's really for every single card there is. So this right here is a very, very good start card. It's zero to use as well. So it kind of gives you a um, nice way of giving you the option of when you do defeat a hero, you not only gain a threat token, uh, from this, uh, but it's also um, when you normally defeat a hero as well, you can either gain a threat token or draw a card. So you get a threat token just from this already, and then you could either gain another threat token or draw a card. So that's really, really good. I do like this card. Okay, you can only use it once per encounter, but still, it's really really good so this last bit here is really for every single card uh, well practically every single card in this deck so after transitioning to act 2 pluck cards that require monsters with 4 or less health require monsters with 6 or less health instead even while this card is exhausted so in act 2 it becomes 6 or less and that's the same with all other cards. So that's a very good card. I do like it. Another one is a two to bio. This one, infestation, sounds good, doesn't it? Right, exhaust this card when you play a monster as a reinforcement. Hmm. Okay, place one minion monster with four or less health from the same monster group in an empty space adjacent to that monster respecting group limits and it's one to use so one threat gives you one additional um, small monster really which uh, I think that's really really good it helps to bring out your monsters quickly and helps deal with your missions <clears throat> well I mean quests uh, and it's just uh, an interesting way because every single time though it's like I just placed one boring monster down this lets you put down two that's really good just for uh, one threat uh, I mean that's good and with of course mouse to feed lets you add those threat yeah, quicker that is right so another one is in every shadow two to buy Exhaust this card and discard one Trap Overlord card from your hand when a hero declares an open door or search action. That hero tests awareness. If they fails, because <laughs> I don't like saying that if he fails, I mean, come on. Right, if they fail, I think that should be really how it should be. Uh, perform an attack that targets that hero with one monster with four or less health that is on the map ignoring range and line of sight and uses naught to use right Se seems quite good um, I've had many trap cards where I'm just having them in my hand oh, really uh, sometimes I don't I'll never get to use any of my trap cards at all this allows me to use the trap cards when this one says, not when that trap card says. And because it's for an, uh, opening a door or search action, that gives uh, the other trap cards a bit more use, use out of it. However, yeah, there's quite a few however's. You need to have a trap overlord card in your hand, and when you discard it, that's one card that cannot be used uh, because you just discarded it in order to use this. They have to fail their awareness. If they don't fail, 
then it's all about performing an attack with one monster and of course it's a monster with four or less health they're not going to do a lot of damage so if you roll that X that's a fail if you don't do too much if you don't do a lot of damage and the hero rolls an excellent defense doing no damage then that is also a fail so uh, this it gives your trap cards some usage but at the same time you've got to have a trap uh, overlord card in the heroes must fail their awareness you must hit uh, uh, the uh, hero so no roll in the X and you must make sure that you do enough damage and the hero doesn't roll good defense or for discarding a trap overlord card which could eventually be better than playing it instead of discarding I don't quite like this card it, it's, it, it's nice because yet again uh, zero um, threat to use <sighs> and, and uh, like I said I have actually had trap cards that have just been sitting in my hand doing absolutely nothing uh, but at the same time I try and get rid of those cards quite easily just to like not, when I'm adding more cards to the deck any cards that I'm not going to be using I get rid of anyway so that to me isn't really all that good right another one is Envy, Envinous <laughs> Swarm. Two to buy. Exhaust this card at the start of your turn. While this card is exhausted, each monster with four or less health gains. As an action, perform an attack that targets one hero with one or more relic cards equipped. This attack gains one damage. And it's one threat to use. This is a hit and miss for me. I, I like it. If the heroes have got uh, uh, a relic, uh, but if then if like say if they only have one relic, it's not all that useful. And if they're not going to, if they don't even get any relics, then this card is absolutely worthless. If they've got let's say two or or three relics, then this card is a blessing. I mean seriously. The, the attacks gain one extra damage. You're more than likely going to target those heroes anyway. So, and that that's with every single monster with four or less health, unless you're in Act Two, which then becomes six or less less health. And I myself love using lots of small monsters. So while this would be a huge boon for me, only if I know that the um, heroes have got two or more relics when I say two or more relics I actually mean one hero has one relic and another hero has got another relic then that's that's fine if at least two heroes has a relic that's great unless um, it's a um, two hero uh, game then then if one of them has one relic then that's fine as well it, it all, all depends just on whoever gets the relics so like I said if it's a two hero game if one person has a relic get it if if it was like two no I mean three or four heroes and two of them has relics get it otherwise don't bother save you for it right so here's another one so Flee the light, it's two to buy. Exhaust this card at the end of your turn until the start of your next turn. Each monster with four or less health gains. Skittish, each time a hero within three spaces of this monster suffers a fatigue to gain one movement point. This monster may immediately move one space. Uh, this card does not refresh as normal, uh, refresh this card at the end of each encounter one to use mmm and it's it's uh, one use only kind of thing so you of course until the start of your next turn uh, can be useful 
might not be useful. It kind of all depends on the mission. Uh, it could be fun in trying to get in the way of heroes or perhaps moving them away uh, away from heroes uh, however it's got to be within free spaces uh, the hero that uses the, um, the the fatigue to gain the extra move they've got to be within free space of the monster so uh, it's, it's a nice card it just all depends of when it needs to uh, be used uh, so it's a difficult one all right how about let's have a look at another one right. ignoble sacrifice two to use use this card when more than one monster in a monster group is affected by an attack before damage is dealt choose one monster affected by the attack that monster suffers all damage all the other monsters in its group would suffer from that attack and it's one to use this is uh, yet again uh, an interesting card because yeah okay when you're thinking of um, affecting all what, like a lot of monsters you're thinking of blasts however there are certain class cards that affect more than one monsters so if you know that uh, the, the the heroes classes will affect more than one monster. It's a good card to use. If not, then all they have is blast. That all depends if they pick up a, uh, an item or weapon or something like that. With blast, and then it just becomes pointless. So get it if uh, your heroes have affect multiple uh, creatures. Don't get it if they do not. Uh, initiation. Free to buy. Use this card when a minion monster with four less health knocks out a hero. Until that monster is defeated, it uses the characteristics, abilities, and dice of the master monster, not including an agent, in its group. Place one threat token on that monster's base as a reminder and it costs one to use this is definitely definitely uh, a good one to use I mean I would literally try and get this one very very early uh, one thing that's kind of dumb is adding a unnecessary con comma because the uh, comma represents and it's like it uses the characteristics and abilities and and does no 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 don't add another comma when you just ended with an and no that's terrible <laughs> that's the only problem I've got with this card otherwise yes yes please I would love to have two or or even more master monsters uh, just because it's great yes excellent card number one into the shadows free to buy Use this card when you activate a monster with four or less health. Instead of performing actions, remove that monster from the map and place it on this card. Each monster on this card still counts towards the group limit of the monster's group. Uh, okay. All right. When a hero declares a rest action, you may place each monster on this card in an empty space adjacent to that hero. Then each of those monsters may perform an attack that targets that hero one to use I really do not like this card whatsoever this is a pile of junk you what you're doing is you're getting rid of your monsters and waiting for someone to, to make a rest action that's all it is you are helping the heroes uh, clear a path no get rid of this card that's a pile of garbage no I don't like it seriously okay it could be handy if uh, say um, all your monsters are at one end of the board and the, the, the heroes are going the other direction then that could be good but there isn't there isn't that many missions that are like that missions quests sorry uh, I'm stuck in 
another game, sorry. Anyway, so yeah, don't don't bother with that with that. It's it's a pile of garbage. No, it's too expensive to buy and you won't really use it as much. So ignore it, please. Please don't even try and uh, and just try and use it as a uh, a card that you might think it could be good. No, don't don't bother. Jeez. Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? What a disgusting card. What a waste. Right. Always watching. Always watching. That's stupid good. Right. It's four to buy. <sighs> Better be better than the last one. Isn't it? No, seriously, I really don't like that. <laughs> exhaust this card at the start of an encounter. While this card is exhausted at the start of each Overlord turn, you may look at the top card of the Overlord deck, then place that card on top or bottom of the Overlord deck. This card does not refresh as normal refreshes card at the end of each quest, and it's one to use oh yes this this yes absolutely absolutely is a must one must buy I mean seriously you want to get the right cards right from the start and all the other cards near the bottom really it's cycling through your deck but you're not discarding your deck this this is uh, one of the best ones there is. I mean, seriously, can't go wrong with it whatsoever. Right, really, that's all the cards there is, apart from got some of Verminos. So, uh, free to buy. You can source a card after set up an encounter and to choose one open monster group, replace one master monster in that group with the Verminos agent. If Verminos agent is defeated, return this card to your plot deck. Which means uh, you'll have to rebuy it again if you want to. Right, you cannot use this card in any quest that uses Verminos. And it's uh, two to use. So free to buy, two to use. Make sure he doesn't die. Otherwise, that's kind of a waste. That's uh, five threat tokens kind of used up. Well, it may not be straight away. You know, it's like, but still. Let's have a look at uh, Verminos' plot card, shall we? Okay. He has stealthy surge scheme, double surge, plus two damage. So his uh, stats aren't all that great, really. He's very, very slow. Uh, blue, yellow, and melee. Uh, nothing to write home about. So stealthy is like each attack the targets, Verminos must roll three additional range beyond the normally required amount. Or the attack is a miss. That's right. Range that includes melee uh, weapons as well. So uh, your range is normally a blue and red. Uh, red doesn't really give you range, but blue does. So there you have it. That's hilarious. Uh, unless you're using some kind of weak kind of melee weapon, which would be a blue and yellow. Yellow uh, gives in range. So. Anyway, Surge Scheme. Discard one Overlord card from your hand to draw one Overlord card. That's actually pretty good. It kind of cycles through your deck, uh, going through uh, all the ones that you could just kind of get rid of just to keep drawing and drawing all the better cards. That's really good. I do like that. Of course, that requires one Surge, and it and he is a melee user. Well, let's take a look at Act 2. The Act 2 has Master Plan, which is Stealthy Again Scheme. Uh, double Surge is plus 3 damage instead. So, um, yeah, you know, so so. Uh, melee, blue, yellow, yellow. Oh, excellent. That's good. Well, that should at least give you a double surge. Anyway, let's have a look at Master Plan. So, each time you play an Overlord card, choose one hero within three spaces of Verminos. That hero suffers one damage just like that and of course you want to be playing your overlord cards and um, well with his stealthy ability uh, all ranged heroes must get closer to him which then affects uh, the uh, heroes as well so that's 
that's really good. I, I like Master Plan. That's uh, quite hilarious. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at his model, shall we? The model is actually, it feels quite solid. So solid, it just feels like it doesn't feel like it's going to just kind of bend or anything. Uh, well, apart from his dagger, but even then, his dagger feels quite good as well. And, um, yeah, I quite like the model, actually. It's uh, kind of uh, hilarious looking. Yeah. Uh, it feels very, very solid and very sturdy, I mean. Wow. That's, that's a good model. Well, anyway, what do I think of this deck? I think it's a not that bad of a deck. It has its up and downs. Uh, there's some horrible cards in there and there are some good cards I wouldn't say great cards uh, I, I mean the the better ones are oh, which ones was it was always watching and uh, initiation Th those two are really good I like those and yet again I think it will all depends on um, what the uh, heroes classes are going to be, maybe even abilities as well, just to check. Uh, otherwise, some of these cards just won't be uh, good in use. Uh, so, this one's a so so deck. Uh, I mean, it, it hasn't really wowed me, but it has interesting cards. There are better plot plot decks uh, out there already, which I've actually um, root for gone through already. So mm. this one is a tough one, but like I said, it has got some good cards in it, and it could be quite fun. Like I said, initiation, having two types of uh, master minion master monster, sorry, in the same group can be really really fun well anyway uh yeah i, I mean you yeah, know so so well uh that's all i have really for this so uh thank you very much until next time bye